Hello, this is the famous Aquarius coming onto the scene with a new update of my 15 gallon Fluvo Flex tank setup. As you can see, the fish are running around pretty good. Uh, I have guppies in there along with some red shrimp, and I threw a couple of minnows in there yesterday. Well, I just want to give you a quick tour of what I did with the setup of this tank. As you see, I made it out of serious stone. I put into the tank. I did miss my version of Iwagumi. I don't know how well it is, but basically I used five stones to create some sort of layout. And the substrate I used was, in the previous video I mentioned, was Floor Max. And I, recently I topped it off with some black gravel I just got from a local pet shop. Because the plants kept coming up out of the gravel, so I put like a thin layer of gravel so the plants can at least stand up and hold on to it until they can root into the floor max substrate. So, on the advice from previous Aquarius always told me to add plenty of plants. So I try to plant as much as I can. As you can see, I put on the left side of the tank, I put some bobitis. That's the biggest plant on that side of the plant tank. Along with some crypt um, balance, but it it melted, but it should be it's growing back a little bit, so you can't quite see it from the angle that I have of the camera. Or well, next to the little bias is a Vesuvius sword, so I put that in. Near the smaller plants are the dwarf chain swords that I added, and they melted back a little bit, but I'm sure they will grow in soon enough grow back. On the end here is Valicinaria. It did melt back initially but it's beginning to grow back. I see a couple new leaves popping out of the soil. Uh, in front of that is a, a, a was a Kabamba plant that I threw for my 55 gallon. I just threw it in to see how well it will grow. Going around has some more dwarf chain swords. Um, the plants closest to the rock are java fern plants. I picked off a larger java fern that's stuck in the soil. So they're, they're firmly rooted now, so I'm going to see how well they grow over time. Another dwarf chainsaw. Some more dwarf chainsaws I put over here. This wonderful plant you see growing here is my Nubius. Frazier, I believe. It was growing in the back of my 55 gallon tank. I never didn't even see it. And when I was doing the inventory of my plants, this large plant came. Um, I showed up on my view in the back of the tank. So I said, oh, man, this needs to be a display plant. So I took it out and put it into my 15 gallon. And next to that is some more um, Java fern, so which is trying to grow. So I took it for my 55 as well. Now on the other side of those plants, let's see if I can angle it I have see I get the right angle if it could come into play these are four leaf clovers I took for my 55 gallon and they're stuck on the gravel so I'm hoping it begins to sprout up soon enough and root in but we shall see now behind that on the corner here as you see, is some Saswasa tang that I bought from a local breeder and when I bought my shrimp. So he's gave me a portion of that and I hooked it around a strainer from a sponge filter that I had and just wrapped it around there. And I hope it grows in for the shrimp to hide in. Um, these tin plants is Bacopa, two different versions. This is the yellow version and then the Carolinia version. I stuck in a plant for as the root plants, stem plants. Uh, see the bubble stone, and next to there, using Christmas moss and like a cave that I had from the 55 gallon. I wrapped it in Christmas moss and stuck it in the back of the tank for the shrimp. Uh, you can't see it. underneath that particular look like rocks that you just see there wrapped in moss. It's chola wood again for the shrimp. So I purchased 20 shrimp from a local breeder, New York City. Plus, I bought a couple of 
uh, put a couple of mono shrimps that I bought from Slip Aquatics. But well, most of the mono shrimp I put into my 55 gallon. So I just want to see how these mono shrimp will fare in this, in this tank. Now this tank is still a brackish tank, uh, but I'm trying to slowly convert it back to fresh water at least, or at the very least lower salinity. So right now the salinity is about 1.003. So I'll probably keep it around 1.002. So my next water change will probably take care of that to make sure uh, it stays a little brackish, but not fully fresh water. Now the guppies I've have in here is eight of them. I have, not quite sure what all the names are, but the ones I did know for sure is one the yellow with the red. Those are my te tequila sunrise. Um, the ones with the like nice purple bluish sheen. I think those are the Delta Blue guppies. And I have one I'm still trying to identify. I took from a sale. Oh, she's going by. Where is it? There she is.